Hello everybody, welcome back to a brand new episode of Planet Zoo Franchise Mode. I'm Daniela, and here we are at the Dakota Zoo. We are going to jump right into our very first part of what we're going to be doing for this episode, which is something that I've wanted to do since we started this series, and that is to make our sign. So for anybody who has been following along, you know that we have started our zoo with the True North Trail. And the True North Trail consists of animals that belong in mainly the Northern Hemisphere of the Americas. We started off with our Arctic wolves, and we added our American bison, and our latest animals are the grizzly bears. So now what we're gonna be doing is we are gonna be creating our first sign. What I like to do when I create a sign is that when you go into habitat and the climbable logs are really good for posts. We are now going to grab a panel of plaster. I'm just going to put this one right there. And we are going to move this. We are going to add it this way. Let's try to make sure that it's somewhat even. Here we go. Seems okay. Maybe just slightly here. There. And we're going to move this up just a tad. And bring it towards the side. So it's big enough that... Or tall enough, I should say. That people will be able to go right on under it. Let's maybe adjust it just slightly. There we go. And now we'll move it back so it looks like it's touching the edge of the pole. Okay, now we can duplicate it. There we are. Seems a little bit off. This is always the tricky part about making signs is that you definitely want them to be perfect. Okay, let's grab this one. We'll duplicate this. We're going to want it to be pretty as even as we can. Okay, well, we'll just put that there. So now we can see that this is definitely just a little bit on the off side. Bring this up just a tad and slide it over. And we'll make that right there. Okay. Now I think I'm going to get rid of this one, and we are going to duplicate this, so we're going to move it back over as far as we can. Okay, there we go, and then we'll just move this one just slightly back. Awesome, that is the first start of our sign. But I also saw that we got some notifications. Our little babies are hungry. Eat your food. You just got fed. Okay. And then I also saw Habitat 3. Cleanliness. Habitat cleanliness is a disease risk. Okay. We're going to call our keeper. And we will call the mechanic because the barrier status is going down. And maybe we'll call the vet just to check up on the animals. Okay, back to our sign. Go into construction. Let's see here. Props. Okay. We probably need to go with the little the little alphabet letters because I don't think the big ones would fit on here. But let's just see. So this would be a large, so yeah, that's way too big. Let's find our T. That's still the big one. Where are the little ones? Okay, there we go. You know what we might do? Oh, we lost light. Okay, folks, I am going to pause right here, 
and then I am going to do all of the letterings, finish the sign up, and then I will catch everybody back super soon. And we are back with our finished product of the True North Trail sign. Once we get more of the mechanic research complete, we'll be able to unlock more decorations and we can make this just a little bit prettier. But for now, here's the back. So when you leave the True North Trail, you're gonna see a couple of bears saying goodbye to you. And this is where you'd enter our True North Trail. While I was doing that, we actually had a few notifications. So we actually have our very first baby grizzlies. And here one is. Oh my goodness, winter. That is so cute. Do they only have one? What's her genetics like? 100% fertility, that's really good. Winter, let's check on the animals here. The iguanas had a another baby, so we're gonna let's just grab this one, send it to the trade center, because the iguanas don't really like when they're overcrowded. Okay, we had two Tanner and Winter. Oh look at him. He's climbing the tree. Just like his mom. Going through the tree. Nice. He has a Gold appeal, that's awesome. Pretty good genetics, awesome fertility, good immunity, good longevity, just a little bit on the smaller size. But overall, I think our baby grizzlies are really good. And a thousand dollars are coming our way. Nice. It's a pretty good start, I'd say, to our new episode. Let's keep checking. More conservation credits. Hello to you. Keep going. Hungry? Call our keeper. Let's check on our research. Maybe we have some... Oh, we have some research complete on the rattlesnake. Oh, we actually have no research on our grizzly bears yet. That's why their enrichment is probably so low. Alright, well, let's just switch Dante over to our grizzly bears because I feel like it's pretty good for the rattlesnakes and usually they they're fairly happy anyway let's just check them out here yeah they're they're all really happy i don't think they need anything else no no more enrichment is needed and it really seems that a lot of people are are liking them let's check the donation boxes only 27 on that one this one has zero. Oh well i guess it's January, so the boxes, um, they go, what's the word? They go over. Exhibit cleanliness, call our keeper over here. This is, I think this is our first look at the iguanas because they're not hiding. It's pretty cute. Not bad. I think the iguanas are cute. Let's check on our guests as we are losing some money and it seems like our guests aren't very happy. This zoo feels pretty small. This place could do with a serious spring cleaning. That litter is disgusting. Do we have litter? I have put so many bins. I hope it warms up. Yeah, that guard must be chasing someone. Zoo t pr ticket price is good. Okay. How about this one? Thirst. You call that good service? Uh-oh. Hmm. Let's check on our staff. Maybe our vendors need an, to get some training. Let's send them all the training. There we go. Hmm. Dante is having a high workload. Most of our people are. I think it's probably best if we send everybody for some training. I know it costs money, but in the end, it it does help with the function of our zoo. All right, we have some some grizzly bear. Let's check out if they have any more enrichment that we can make our our grizzlies kind of happy. 
Where are we? Grizzly bear. Okay, we got a large feeder. That might be good. Protesters have arrived at our zoo. Why? Let's put this one... Let's put it right here. Why have protesters arrived? What are you protesting? The iguanas? Why? What's wrong with the iguanas? Keeper's probably not going there fast enough to clean them. That's probably why. Yep. Come on, Keeper. Head on over so we can get those protesters away. Looking so unhealthy. Where is our Keeper? Or our Caretaker, I would say. No, I think it's a Keeper, is it not? Yeah, keeper being requested. Where are ya? Cleaning up the grizzlies. Oh, maybe we should hire another keeper. We do have a lot. That might be what we do. We're gonna hire another keeper. There we go. And we are gonna move you to the True North Trail 1. So hopefully... Orville can clean. There we go. Did he finish it? Yes. Perfect. And what do we have here? Zoo reputation. Two stars. We're really climbing in this episode. Which is absolutely fantastic. Oh, our ATM is broken. Let's call the mechanic. Is the mechanic... I can't remember. Do we... Is this ATM in our work zone? Let's check. It's not. Okay, let's just add that in. Right there. So now the mechanic will be able to... We'll get to our ATM. More research. That's awesome. See, a little bit of training and now Dante's moving fast. Let's check on our grizzlies. Maybe they're... Maybe they're fine with what they have. Where are they? There's our little buddies. Oh, they're so cute. Oh, they're 100% happy. That's great. Awesome. You know what? I think this is looking really good. The only real plan that I had for this episode was to build the, the True North Trail sign and maybe do some decorating. But when we go to our mechanic research, Bernadette's still working on the Arctic theme. And I was really hoping on using the arctic wood for our decorations here. So we are going to have to put a pause on that. So now I'm, I don't really know what else we're going to do for this episode. Let's check our animal trading and let's see if we can add another animal in for today. So we have our doll sheep, Ontario, Wakefield, 330. The polar bears would be pretty nice. Like, they have very high appeal. So we would get a lot of people coming to our zoo if we had the polar bears. But they're just... We need a little bit more conservation credits to get some good ones. Because this one is 855, and her fertility and her size aren't the best. This one is pretty average, and he has a lot of conservation credits. So I think we just need to... Make sure that we get a little bit more, and then maybe we can get a good one. We could get the doll sheep. Wakefield's not that bad. He's young. He could have a lot of babies, which would be nice. And maybe we could get a lot of females that he could have a lot of, a lot of fun with. Let's keep looking. Because we're almost... We have almost have all of our North American animals. Ontario, pretty good. Only 55, which is nice. James. Yeah, the pronghorns are pretty cheap, but they do have low appeal, so they wouldn't... They'd bring in guests, but not a whole lot. But they probably have a lot of babies. Let's check on their Zoopedia. So the pronghorn antelope, their least concern. They're 
in North America, the USA, Canada, and Mexico, they like the temperate and the grassland. They can have one male up to ten females. They can be sexually sterile to their death, and they usually have one to two babies per mating event. All right, and it's very easy. So let's say if we have one male, and then we can get a bunch of females in, then we'd be having a lot of babies. And then we could sell those babies for cash or conservation credits, which is something we need. They only live to 11 years. They don't live very long. A little bit sad. But it could be good. The pronghorns could be a good option. They're really cheap. If we get a really good male, then I think we could have a lot of good babies that we could try to sell for a good amount of conservation credits. So let's check on a good male. See, okay, Oliver's pretty good. 133. This is the kind of thing where you have to spend money to make money. Oliver would probably be a good option. This one's old, so gotta say no to that. We also have the reindeer. Reindeer might be good. They're about the same appeal rating, but we might want to wait for the reindeer for when we have more of the polar bears. We also have the timber wolves, which we could add, but I feel like we, we just did an arctic wolf episode and the good ones for the timber wolves are also fairly expensive. So I think, I think we're just going to go with the, where are they here? The pronghorn antelope. They're a cheap option that we could use and we can just make sure that they have a lot of babies and we can sell those babies for conservation credits or for cash. Reduce crime, we could do that one. And we have snow! Let's see, how are people liking the cold? Uh, not liking it a lot. Going home. Energy. We need to add benches. I feel like we, like we have a lot of benches, though. And thirst. We may need to add another drink shop. Call the mechanic here. More vet research complete. Awesome. Okay, I think I have an idea for what we should do for this episode. When we were developing the American Bison, I wanted to have this area kind of be the True North Trail Plaza where we would have some more food and some more drinks. So I think today the primary focus of this episode is that we are going to develop the True North Trail Plaza. I think we're going to add some more drinks, maybe another food stall, and if we have time we can add the pronghorn antelope habitat. And of course we need to make sure that we find some good ones. Let's take another look, see who we have. I really like Oliver. He's young, has really good genetics, but 133 conservation credits does seem like a lot. So I don't necessarily know. We could go for an albino one. That would be kind of cool to see. Still fairly expensive, though. Hmm. You know what? Let's, let's just take one more look. Watkins. His genetics are really good. And he's an albino. Swindle. Really good, too. And he's cheaper. Come on. Next. There we go. Okay. Huh. Well, let's just build our new food area, and then we can check back, see what we have, and go from there. Many guests think tickets are underpriced. Let's go $10 and $5. See what people think about that. And let us also check our guests. 
So yeah, they definitely are hungry and thirsty. And because we want more people to come by the grizzly bears, I think it's I think it's a smart decision to to add some food and drinks here. Because if you're coming over here and you want something to eat or you're thirsty, you would have to come all the way back to the entrance. So I think it's smart for us to to add something here. Let's go into our guest facilities and let's check out our drink stalls. Because we had our mechanic, the first thing that they did was research drink shops. So we have all of the drink shops available, which I think is going to be really good for us. And the first thing that comes to mind is Streetbox Coffee. Because we're, we're in the True North Trail, it gets a little, little cold and it got dark really fast. And when you're cold, you just need, you just want a cup of coffee. So I think adding Street Fox coffee is exactly what this spot needs. Let's try to center this. There we go. Street Fox coffee. And of course, once we get more decorations, we'll be able to decorate it all up. But for right now, I think we should add some signs. Street Fox coffee. So that people know. Street Fox Coffee. Street Fox Coffee. And maybe we could add some nature around here. Because I don't imagine that we're going to be putting anything else. Grab our continent, North America, biome, taiga. It just gets really dark. Let's grab this here. Make it pretty. It was actually, I don't want to say it, it's funny, but it's just cool because I went on a hike yesterday and like I said, I am from the Vancouver area. So I am exactly, I am from exactly where this zoo is taking place. And when I was on my hike and I was driving, I saw these type of flowers. And I just thought it was really cool because for whatever reason, I had never really noticed that we had these type of flowers before. But now playing this game, I, I just kind of remembered that, oh, those are the exact flowers that are in Planet Zoo. And I just thought it was cool. I thought it was interesting. More damage barriers, not good. Let's call the mechanic. And that's why I, like in the first episode, how I said we're, we're all gonna be learning from this channel and from these videos. And I, I've learned a lot. I never would have noticed that these type of flowers are in my area until playing Planet Zoo. Now we just had that notification so we do we have some of our arctic theme going we have the wood so we are able to de start decorating all of our staff areas and our buildings here so you know what let's let's do that right now with our street box coffee select our group and we'll enter it and let's get started i really enjoy the arctic wood it's it's, I don't want to say wintery, but it, it, it has the winter feel, it has the outdoor feel to it, and just, it, I think it fits really well with the True North Trail, that's what we're trying to go for. Let's take a look at our roof, see what kind we have. Okay, let's grab this one here. Actually, we need the pitched one. Let's go right here. Grab this, bring it up, go back to our walls, so that way we can uh, we can grab this, put it right there, and right there. I think that looks pretty nice. Not bad. Let's see, can we add any any type of other decorations to it? 
ice block. We could add that into a habitat. Might be kind of cool, especially if the polar with the polar bears. It's just fragmented wood. Ooh. Hmm. That is kind of cool. Maybe if we do a another little lookout like we did for our arctic wolves maybe if i decide to do that for the polar bears this would kind of look kind of cool as like the background it kind of reminds me i feel like we could make like a, a ship or something out of this i think i think that would look really really cool let's add let's see i don't want to get distracted we could add a little awning here Think, should we add this one where should we put it I feel like it should go up top here yeah let's let's add that there and we'll also add it there ooh you know what I don't know if I like that undo undo let's try again How about that way? I don't know. I think maybe just the one way could be good. Let's see. Should we add a little... This spot right here? I like the music. That looks kind of nice. Alright. And now maybe we could add a Street Fox coffee sign. Up top. Yeah, I think that looks really nice. And maybe we could add... Ooh, that looks cool. And maybe we could add... Where's that bear one? Right here? That looks really nice. I really like that. Ooh, we have the inspector. Where is it? We still need to figure out names for our new habitats, folks. Gotta put it in the comments. Where's our inspector? Can I see them? Oh, she looks like she is gonna give a harsh rating. Hopefully not. We have a new challenge. Earn a yearly profit of 18500 Okay, we're gonna hopefully means that we are going to need to add a new new attraction to bring people in. More vet research is complete. Awesome. Love to see that. Whoa! Dante already finished? That was fast. Alright, get back on the rattlesnakes then. I think that looks really, really good. Ooh, diseased animal. Why? Alright, well, the vet's already called. The habitat was clean, so there shouldn't be a reason why. What's this? Okay, call the mechanic. Because the only thing that I could think of is the water treatment. But it's in the area. So it's not like they would get sick from the water. Huh. That's really strange. Okay, well, Emberly is hopefully going to get better. Ooh, now we need the vet surgery. Alright, I think we can finally do it, but good thing is we have plenty of money, so it won't hurt us too, too badly. Let's just add this one. Hmm, where should we put it? Right by quarantine? I think so. Let's add you right... Right there. Now before we forget, let's go into our, ooh, actually, yeah, let's put Dante on the disease instead of the rattlesnakes, just so we have research on what we want to do. Grab our work zone, True North Trail, put on our new vet surgery building, and our street box coffee. Okay. I think this looks really, really good. I really like this. We'll press play again. Let's see how it goes. Ooh, we have a, a bin. 
replace. Let's check. Yeah, let's check on all of our on our crime. Oh wow, we have a lot. Okay, well, replace the bench. Replace our bin. Replace, replace, replace the info board. Replace the speaker and the other speaker. Geesh, I didn't realize we had that much crime going on in this zoo. Transformer. Call the mechanic. You know, folks, I I imagine that you probably want some type of excitement in these episodes by adding new animals. But, you know, that's the thing about franchise mode is that a lot of the time you got to do upkeep. And that's making sure we have another. Oh, my gosh. Why? Did the vet get called? Yeah. Okay. I don't get why we're having a disease. Call the mechanic. I mean, we're at 100% cleanliness, so it's not like there needs to be... I don't know. That's, that's just very strange. Alright, well, as I was saying, with franchise mode, a lot of it is about the upkeep of the zoo and that means making sure that your guests are happy making sure that the animals are taken care of and you know what we're gonna have these episodes where we're just gonna be adding street fox coffees and i hope that's okay with all of you if not leave a comment if you if you are interested in only seeing new animals come in please tell me because then in the future, I can do this type of decorating on my own time, and that way you all won't have to have to watch. But you have to let me know. I want this channel to be about you. It's not all about me, and that means listening to what you what you all have to say. We only have one chief beef. Well, we only have one type of food area. And we have the chief beef over there. So maybe we should... Thirsty? Go to Street Fox Coffee. It's right there. Ooh, our rattlesnakes had more. Ooh, our iguanas had some too. Okay, well, we gotta fix that. At least now we can get a little bit more cash. Back to our animals. Oh, we have one in the Trade Center as well. This one. Okay. Send a trade center. And then we had the snakes. We have... Whoa! We have way too many. Okay. Uh, this one and this one. They're the babies. Send a trade center. Yes. We'll get into our exhibit trading. And let's do a quick trade. Quick trade. The small exhibit animals have actually been really helpful for our financial situation. Because every time they have babies, we can sell them. And I think that's a reason why our financials are doing so well right now. Is because we're able to, to sell the, the little baby animals. Ooh, we have to breed a new habitat animal. Are any of our habitats pregnant? Where's our arctic wolves? Are you expecting any offspring? What about our bison? Mm. Ooh, our female arctic wolf is looking a little bit on the older side. So, same with Manny. Oh no, they might... I'm kind of thinking that they're not going to have any babies anytime soon. So what we could do is with... I still can't remember how to pronounce that name. Nuckalik. Let's check our her genetics. Her genetics are fairly decent. What we could do is we could find a male Arctic wolf. But she is getting older. So what we might do is... We'll have to see. We'll see how it goes. See what happens. That This is also the hard part about Planet Zoo is that when... Animals die, and we have to figure out how to how to continue on. Snowball, let's uh, 
Let's reset that. Because I don't think they can use the snowball when it's in the water. Alright. Right. Oh, why are our babies being sick? I don't like that. Okay, well, let's just keep playing. Check out our guests. Now it's hunger. Let's go into our mechanic research. Maybe we got the wood, which is what I wanted. So I think maybe we could have Bernadette pause on the Arctic theme and instead work on food shops. That way, if we can get some research going, we can hopefully add some more, some more food areas over here. All right, well, I don't want to keep dragging this episode on knowing that we're not really sure what we're going to be doing. Before we end this episode, let's just take another look at our animal trading. Let's see if we have any, any more good pronghorn antelopes. Not bad. Logan. Logan's really good for 250 though. Remember, you gotta spend conservation credits to make conservation credits. I really like Oliver, though. He's young, just 1.8 years old. He has really good longevity, which is kind of what we want. We want our animals to live a long time. Timber, pretty good as well. Just the size is a little bit on the small side. Tyler, really expensive. Tanner, Watkins... Also really good. It would be cool to have an, an albino animal in our zoo. Or Swindle. Swindle's really good as well. Hmm. Well, I think we should... Oh no, folks. Here we go. Our first animal has passed on. You were... You were great, buddy. You gave us so many little babies. Let's check on your stud book. You had three awesome kids. And you brought so many people to our zoo. You were just fantastic. We're gonna miss you. Well, folks, I think it's a sad way to leave the episode, but I think that's what we need. Next episode, we will be getting a new animal. We're going to get the pronghorn antelope, and hopefully our mechanic will get some more research complete, and we can continue with the True North Trail Plaza. Let's take one last look at our sign, and here we go. I want to thank everybody for watching this episode. Don't forget to leave a like, and if you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel. And leave a comment if you have any thoughts about this series and any future episodes. I look forward to seeing everybody in the next one. Keep smiling, everybody.